how to get free neodymium magnets from hard drives and CD-ROM drives. Okay, so we're going to start by taking this cover off. These screws must be uh, stainless since they're not magnetic. And this is a Max Tour hard drive from an old computer. Don't do this to a new hard drive because once you open it up, it's not going to work anymore. Or it's not going to work like it's supposed to for long. Okay, now we're just going to pry it open. Oh, there's going to be one more screw. I'm sorry. <coughs> one more screw in the middle here. Just poke it right through. Like so. And there might be another one under this screw here. Here we go. Now the cover should come off. Uh, it's got a piece of tape closing it here. Let's just do that. There's one of the neodymium magnets right there in the cover. You glue it on there, see? This looks like aluminum. So there's our one neodymium magnet. It looks like a t-shirt. And we it's uh basically just glued to this. So if you just bend this, it's gonna come right off. Okay, so now we can continue. Here's the inside of the hard drive. This is our other magnet here. See how strong it is. Spacers, turn on aluminum.
foam platter. More spacers. All right, now we just gotta get this arm off of here. Every one of these is different a little bit, so. Strong magnet. <laughs> there we go. That's a strong magnet. That's how we get free neodymium magnets from hard drive. So the next step would be to bend these in the vise and, and break them off the backings, but you could leave them on there too. I personally like to leave it on there, that way I can screw it to something. Or if I, you know, if I want to take it off, I can take it off, but in the meantime, it's on there. Right? All these other things are recyclable. I like to save the screws. So uh, now we're going to turn it over. I'm going to take this circuit board off. That's also recyclable. Somebody buys them. They extract whatever precious metal is in there. I assume the older have a little bit more precious metals than the newer, depending on the company. The only contact is this part right here. Contacting here. Those contacts look pretty, uh, probably silver. And the other contacts here to, to run this motor. It's pretty, uh, modular. Okay, we'll put this on the side. Anyway, you can save this motor. You get it out. I think this one's pressed in. This is probably just glued here. Anyway, to get all that out, so we could uh, recycle this hunk of aluminum here. Probably weighs about a pound. There's uh, supposedly maybe some platinum plating on the ends of these things, so people are buying them. And there's copper here, so that's recyclable.
So that's how we get the Neo Diamond Magnets out of the hard drive. Just like to take it apart like I showed you. Here's the two magnets to come out of it. Every uh, hard drive has different shaped magnets. As you'll find out. Be careful with these magnets. Keep them out of the reach of children. Don't get hurt with them. If they swallowed them, it's really bad. As you can imagine, how strong they are. All these other parts are recyclable. Aluminum. Aluminum. The motor. Feels like aluminum. Might be magnesium. Anyway, this motor was a uh, integral part of the case so it's no good anymore some copper in there the platter I hear this is rhodium plated and uh, highly sought after people will buy these on eBay stacks of 10 or more something like that the case this is definitely aluminum it's not magnetic so all that's aluminum this is aluminum too but it's rhodium plated like I said People buy them on eBay. They might buy these on eBay too in quantity. The arm. And uh, whatever else you could sell on eBay. Just uh, put, put your stuff together as a group. And uh, somebody will buy it. I recently sold uh, 10 of these magnets for $10. So there you go. That's, uh, that's pretty good for a worthless uh, hard drive. So thanks for watching this video and uh, good luck to you.